Hey there, trombonists. Welcome to my first ever trombone blog, where I aim to introduce thought-provoking ideas that we can implement as a teacher and player. And today, I'll be explaining the use of a tool I've been implementing in my teaching recently, the head-mounted laser. How could a head-mounted laser help you or your students? Let's back up a bit. We are constantly examining the hallmarks of world-class trombone playing fundamentals, such as smooth legato, clean attacks, and great posture, and breathing techniques, of course. And we try to do all of this with as little muscle tension in the body, because, as we know, tension can very much get in the way of that golden tone and world-class fundamentals. Time after time, I find myself telling my students that these kinds of issues can be addressed simply by keeping the trombone still while breathing, keeping 100% of the weight of the horn on the left hand, making sure there's no weight bearing from the slide arm side, which needs to be able to move so we can operate the slide. Of course, this is not really anything new. Teachers have been preaching this for decades. But my thought is that if we had, our, if our head is moving, the mouthpiece could be Good, moving on their better. face, which no, is kind of like shooting a, a basketball breath. at a moving hoop. And I've found that telling a student to keep Good. the head still works Good. for only about, I don't know, about a minute, and then, and then usually out, goes so right back to the way it was still. before. I've tried instructing the student to look at the bell when moving the slide, try to be aware of, of a moving and bumpy bell, which might give clues to bumpy slide technique. Some of these things are so easy to say as a teacher, but... I've been trying to find a way to receive visual feedback in order to make us more aware of excess movement. I've discovered a new way to receive such visual feedback, which is this head-mounted laser. So simply you just put it on, turn it on, and then you can make a little target or you can have a post-it note, put it on a stand nearby, maybe six to eight feet away. You can learn so much about your playing. I know it seems kind of funny and strange putting a laser on your head, <laughs> but it's a growing medium in the physical therapy world. What I've discovered by using the head-mounted laser is that we can become more positionally aware of our head while we play, keeping it static while the slide arm freely moves. We have to remember, however, that static does not, and I repeat, does not mean locked up with more tension. So... What can a head-mounted laser show you? Well, one way is by maintaining relaxed posture. For example, we are taught, we are taught to bring the horn to our face, but sometimes we get a little lazy, don't we? And even if we start in a correct position, I think many of us have experienced the slide dropping due to the weight of the trombone in the slide, especially as a player reaches to the outer positions. This causes the head to drop, minimizing airflow, posture, projection, and support mechanisms. The instant visual feedback of the laser dot from dropping from a target can be extremely effective. Another instance in which the head-mounted laser can work is with bumpy or choppy slide technique. Sometimes we call it robotic slide. So every time the slide is moved from one position to the next, it's important to keep the weight-bearing hand and the shoulder static and tension-free, which has an effect on how the slide moves. If one moves the slide too stiff with slammed arrivals, it will cause the instrument to bump, therefore bumping the mouthpiece while playing. This laser dot is incredibly sensitive and will give the player instant visual feedback in finding the perfect slide speed and positional arrival technique. In working with students, I try to help them realize that every movement will have an effect on the sound. With some students, I have found that by staying calm from the nose on up can make a dramatic effect in muscle tension resulting in possibly more relaxed tone of course that depends on the student tension in the form of furrowed eyebrows squinting other tension-filled facial expressions can come through in the form of visually dancing dot working on breathing techniques is a hallmark of all fine brass instructors and a lot of this depends on the player but being aware of the dot while taking a breath can be very re revealing. Here, you can see some of the things I like to work on with my students.
I started to think about other ideas for the head-mounted laser. Could this work with other instruments? Absolutely. What if you're in a marching band or in a drum corps? Think about how this could impact brass and wind players if they rehearsed with this. What about with really young students? How can one work with this and have a meaningful session? Try video recording yourself with your eyes closed and then with a laser. This way you can see what your tendencies are and hopefully find a way to work on them. Maybe you have too much embouchure chewing or chin movement. As with any brass related tool, I think it's important to remember that this is just another tool. It can be abused and it can be used incorrectly for what we're trying to achieve. The biggest concern, I believe, is making sure we don't get locked up and stiff. But I think using the laser and working on how to take relaxed breaths can actually make us more aware of how we do take breaths. Static does not mean stiff, so try to stay as relaxed as you can on that left side. In the end, I still believe that you must use your ears for the final say. So, where do I get one of these lasers? Can I make one myself? Well, I got mine at www.optp.com, and then I'll put the link in the comments section. Or, you can easily make one yourself using a flashlight, headband, and a laser with an on and off switch. All can be found on Amazon for about $15. I hope the idea of a head-mounted laser can help you. I'm looking forward to receiving comments about this on how this kind of instant feedback can help in other areas of your playing. I very much hope you enjoyed my first blog. I will try to have another one of these out very soon. Thanks for watching.